Good morning, Dr. Collins. I wanted to discuss the implementation of acute care bundles for patients with intracerebral hemorrhage in our ICU. I believe it could significantly improve patient outcomes. What are your thoughts on this? Good morning, Dr. Thompson. I agree that implementing acute care bundles for intracerebral hemorrhage patients is crucial. It's a standardized approach that ensures timely and evidence-based care delivery. What specific elements are you proposing for inclusion in the bundle? I suggest we include key components like early stabilization, monitoring, and targeted interventions. This could involve prompt airway management, adequate oxygenation, blood pressure control, and intracranial pressure monitoring. Additionally, we should consider measures to prevent complications such as seizure prophylaxis and deep vein thrombosis prophylaxis. Those are essential aspects to consider. I would also propose incorporating neuroimaging within the bundle to facilitate early diagnosis and appropriate management. Timely brain imaging, such as computed tomography or magnetic resonance imaging, can guide treatment decisions and help identify potential surgical candidates. Absolutely, Dr. Collins. Neuroimaging is crucial for accurate diagnosis and guiding treatment strategies. In addition to neuroimaging, I believe we should include close hemodynamic monitoring and maintaining uvolemia to optimize cerebral perfusion pressure. This could involve using invasive monitoring techniques like central venous pressure monitoring and arterial blood pressure monitoring. I agree with the need for comprehensive hemodynamic monitoring. It would also be beneficial to include measures that address the prevention and management of complications associated with intracerebral hemorrhage, such as infection control, glycemic control, and nutrition support. This holistic approach can help improve patient outcomes and reduce the overall burden on health care resources. Excellent points, Dr. Collins. In order to effectively implement these bundles, including anticoagulant reversal, intensive blood pressure reduction, surgical evacuation of hematoma and or external ventricular drainage, control of glucose, control of temperature establish clear protocols and guidelines. According to European Stroke Journal that published at the 27th of November 2023, talking about acute care bundles should be used for patients with intracerebral hemorrhage, an expert consensus statement. Completely agree. A multidisciplinary approach will be crucial in achieving the desired outcomes. We should also consider regular audits and quality improvement initiatives to assess compliance with the bundle and identify areas for improvement. It will help us monitor the effectiveness of the bundle in improving patient outcomes and identify any barriers to implementation. That's a great suggestion, Dr. Collins. Regular audits and quality improvement initiatives will allow us to continuously refine and update the bundle based on emerging evidence and best practices. It will also provide us with valuable data to support our efforts and make a case for further investment in resources, if needed. Precisely, Dr. Thompson. By implementing acute care bundles for intracerebral hemorrhage patients, we can standardize and optimize their care, improve outcomes, and enhance patient safety. It's a proactive approach that aligns with our commitment to evidence-based medicine and continuous quality improvement. I couldn't agree more. Dr. Collins. I appreciate your insights and collaboration on this matter. Let's work together to develop a comprehensive acute care bundle for each patients and initiate its implementation in our ICU. I believe it will make a significant difference in the lives of our patients. Thank you, Dr. Thompson. I'm confident that our joint efforts will lead to improved patient care and outcomes. I look forward to working together on this important initiative.